<laughs> Isn't that exciting? We just had an incredible show from our loop master, Lee, and we're going to step out of that bad news scenario and give a chance to do some discussion on the, what, what's going on in the world today because uh, right here in Richmond, we have our own little things and they are a part of the fabric of the, uh, of, the, of the crazy things you would see around the world. And I guess that's going to be our topic of discussion today. When Liz gets here, Liz, Liz hasn't gotten here yet. She's the actual host, hostess. But when she gets here, she will pick up the, uh, the slack I'm leaving behind. Anyway, this is WRWK, Midlothian, Virginia, and this is Ron, and behind me, my co-pilot, Sandy. And the show is Building Better Society. We could change the name quite a bit, but basically what we're looking at the world in terms of, well, it's not perfect, but let's work on it, as opposed to just complaining about it or worrying about it. Well, this calls the show Building a Better Society. No, that, that's, that's the site, sign. that's the site. Chubbs Buzz is the name of our group, and I can't tell exactly how those letters break. It's an acronym, but you, what's that? Yeah, community health. Yeah, community health is. In fact, if you look at uh, all the shows on WRWK, it's we're all about creating a healthy community, finding a fit, creating community here, uh, business babes empowering women in business. Um, and we have several other shows. We talk about Richmond in the way it could be and the way it is, in ways that we think are positive comments on getting better. In fact, Sandy and I were just at an event last night where we discussed uh, with several, probably 100 people there, Sandy, something like that, um, out at the uh, Second Baptist Church, the one that's uh, in the crosshairs of uh, the owner of the Jefferson. He'd like to demolish it. He likes parking lots doesn't care for Romanesque temples because the Second Baptist Church is a Romanesque temple. It is incredibly beautiful. And that's what we're presenting with people who can't tell a church from a parking lot or would just as soon have either one. And I think probably, personally, I can tell the difference. And I can say churches, they're pretty cool. They're not all perfect, but they're churches. Human institutions aren't always perfect. But the important thing is that they're getting together to try social experiments to make things better, or they're trying to copy their particular leader, the case of Christianity, Jesus, the barefoot carpenter. You see very few traces of barefoot carpenter in most of the churches these days, but it's a great model. What we have instead is that we have acquisitive people trying to find ways to make acquisitive gain on a world that is kind of imperfect. If you think of the world in terms of uh, Gosh, this is a terrible place. I'm going to have to be a terrible person just to survive. That's um, one way to look at it. But you can also say, this is a terrible place, and I think I can help to make it better. That's what Jesus did, and they had to kill him for it as quick as they could. Because, And I'm sure if he comes back tomorrow, they'll do it again. Because um, he didn't say, he didn't say, uh, he didn't say, let's, uh, let's try some experiments. So he said, Let's do this. Let's let's help the helpless. Let's feed the poor. And this is not a theme you see in most uh, politicians today. You got to fight. You got to have a lobbyist and a checkbook to get the attention of most politicians. Although they give a lot of uh, lip service to other things, and that's uh, not cool because Lord knows there are better things to do. You hear okay, on this picture. planet. What's that? Show us a picture of Wait, I'm going to send you a picture of the church in a moment. I'm going to say that if you're only here for 70 or 80 years on this planet, uh, for God's sake, do something useful. You know, humanity's been here for hard to say how long, a couple hundred thousand, maybe, maybe a million years, if you want to stretch it. And during that time, we have tried a lot of experiments and organizing people into groups. And most of them, you know, well, long and the short of it is, they died as their population did doesn't have to stay like that. We can get clever. We can get clever. But we have to, have to follow people. Let me tell you the dilemma, if you ever saw the movie Social Dilemma, is that we're seven times more likely to follow things because we're afraid or annoyed. That is to say, the street firm is pissed off. 
And that means we're sometimes more likely to follow some hair on fire person than somebody who says, hey, let's try really hard to get along and build better rocket ships, better cars, better computers. This is where the world comes from. Not from the people who are angry and pointing fingers all the time, but the people who say, I think we got together, we can make a better mousetrap or whatever you're making. Okay. Anyway, anyway, so church, let's picture the church. Yeah, I went by a sex suite. It's the Second Baptist Church. It's on Franklin, kind of across from the Y. It's a lovely building. It's a uh, Italianate, no, I'm sorry, it's a Romanite, Roman, uh, basically a Roman temple. Got eight columns out front. Probably one of the most beautiful buildings in Richmond. Built in 1905 or six by a very noted architect, modeled after a Roman temple, which is modeled after the Greek temples. And they really knew what they were doing. The fact that those columns look uh, as healthy and plump as they do because the architects cheated on the dimensions so your eye would perceive them as healthy and round. If you have a straight stick from the bottom to top, it'll appear to change dimension from top to bottom. And the Greeks realized this and they offset that. You can imagine working with stone tools, making these fine adjustments in each layer with these columns aren't single piece, right? They're made up of maybe two inch, or, I mean, two foot blocks stacked on top of each other. These people went to great pains. That's the kind of temple we have, Second Baptist Church. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, let me send you a picture of this lovely thing. I'll see if I can get it on the screen, although I really haven't tried this before. I want to mention also, if you go to City Hall, you'll see that they're showing the colors of the of Ukraine. The uh, Just as my little boutonniere here shows the colors of the Ukrainian flag, that's kind of a yellow and, and blue, similar to a lot of college colors. But these guys, their fight is for real, life and death fight against a real nasty guy who uh, means no good. He means no good. He's not really even pretending to be a nice guy. His whole agenda. Where's Liz, Ron? Where's Liz? Oh, there she is. Liz Charity. Here she is. Liz. I'm waiting on you. Take it away. I'm, I'm a blabbing on here because uh, Liz wasn't here. But Liz is back. Or Liz is here, I should say. Liz, How take you it away. Doing? I'm pretty good. I'm going to try and get a picture of the Second Baptist church all right um, building so you all can see it and then I'll, I'll try and get it on the screen i've never done it before but i believe it is possible so um go ahead and ask me whatever you want to i i have uh multitasking down to a all right a good, good afternoon how you doing <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> this. besides it's multitasking a, it's a beautiful day and, and i hate to come inside but i wanted to, to share with people What's going on in the world that they need to really uh, be up on? Because yeah, there's a lot going on, and honestly, I think it's all kind of a part of the same fabric. I think so too. We, yeah, there's there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. Why, why we know? have? Well, anyway, yeah. I'll, I was picking the Sandy back there. Oh, Sandy. Sandy's, Sandy's right behind me. Here, let me. Am I? How you right doing, here? Sandy? Hey, gives, I'm good. All right, it's been a while. Yes, move the mics closer, Sandy. It has yeah. been a while, Sandy. Yes, so it has. To see there you you go. Again. We have to we have to save the world day by day, week by week, and here we are at it, it again. It's a full time That's job. Right. That's right, Sandy. You can't save yourself. Has happened since we last talked, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I want to I want to talk about something else with you too, but today. You've got a full agenda. What are we talking about today on the show? You know what we're doing? We are comparing the Ukraine wall and saving the Second Baptist Church in Richmond. Uh -huh. So we're going international across the world. <laughs> and we all are having probably the same problems. You know, yeah. there's I do find some commonalities there. Uh-huh. I do find some commonalities. In fact, I think most most viewers, most of the uh, audience of media in the world are asking themselves, you mean we knew who these crooks were and we haven't done anything about them up to this time? We waited until after they started murdering civilians before yeah. we decided corruption was not a good idea. 
wow, we have known this all this time and we haven't done anything up to now. We have had, our, you know, that is a big breach. I don't mm -hmm. think I realized how much criminality was out there, known, detected, and winked at, apparently. Mm -hmm. Or I guess people figured, huh, that's the way the world works. Yeah. Well, I don't, when, you find the world, when you find the world dysfunctional, you don't have to become dysfunctional to match it. You can say, let's try better. This is, this is not the way to run a world. And I think most adults would say, I like to have a nice lifestyle, but I like my kids to have something too. Yes. And, and part of what's not fair at all right now in Ukraine is that the Ukrainian people are paying for that lesson. The rest of us what are sitting mean back. By that? What you mean by that, uh, Sandy? I paying mean, they're that using their, their homes, their lives, their livelihoods, their futures, the stability that their lives were built on, mm -hmm. the country that they relied on for years, the hopes they have, and they have... They're an incredible people with who do very healthy living. They're very functional people. That is, they're resilient. They look to the positive. They work hard. And uh, to find all of it can be bombed away and shelled away. In a matter of seconds. In a matter of seconds. Yeah. In and fact, the, the, yeah. the Ukrainian uh, president, he is uh, calling on the United States for assistance in establishing a no-fly zone over Ukraine during well, a Zoom talk. That's right. And what I've heard from many different places, the reason the rest of the world is reluctant to do a no-fly zone is because once you have a no-fly zone, then you shoot down anyone who's in it. Once, mm. you, once America shoots down a Russian plane, that's the beginning of World War III. Mm. So they're trying to avoid that kind of escalation. Mm -hmm. And I think they have some other things they can do now. They're being sent lots of uh, different weaponry and um, drones. Mm -hmm. They're purchasing a lot of it and they're being given some of it yep. so that they can mm -hmm. go ahead and do what they need to do to protect themselves. Meanwhile, their buildings are going mm -hmm. down into rubble. Yeah, yeah let alone some life in, in and mm -hmm. infrastructure. And, uh, another senator was on the call said that uh, his. Uh, let me know if I pronounce it right. Zelensky advocated. Zelensky, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. He advocated yes. for banning the Russian oil imports, suspending yeah. mm -hmm. all commercial yeah. transactions like Visa and Mastercard. Mm -hmm and employed the lawmakers to help Ukraine get more plans that uh, yeah. Ukraine pilots are trained in and can be able to fly. Uh, what do you think of that? Is, 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 that, is that a good one? That's a good way to help, right? So, yeah, it, it's a good way to help. And also, apparently, it's having quite an effect, the sanctions mm -hmm. that we in the UK and the European Union have put on... Um, to the oligarchs, the wealthy, wealthy Russians who live in other countries and have many mansions and yachts and so forth, to put sanctions on them has been very effective. They really don't like losing their mansions and all the wealth that they had and their bank accounts. They're really upset about it, and hopefully that pressure applied to Putin will help him make a better decision, like stop the invasion. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, why is he doing this in the first place? What is the reason behind this? There are a lot of different reasons given in the news. <clears throat> I know a little bit about Russian history. And after the Tsar of Russia was assassinated in, I think, 1917, and the, um, the Bolsheviks took over, and it was then, it was communist, it, be, it mm -hmm. became the Soviet Union. Right. And the Soviet Union took over by tank, by by guns and so forth, took over 15 of the surrounding republics. So mm. there was Russia plus the 15 republics that they, you might say, kidnapped, invaded, and took mm -hmm. over. One mm. of those was Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It was all the little countries around Russia. Now, um, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania... Um, 
Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, I, I can't remember all 15, probably Chechnya, Georgia. One of them was the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And that was um, right, it's right next to Russia. And it's mm -hmm. also uh, a very big country and it has a lot of very good farmland. And it has always been described as the breadbasket of Europe because it had so much farmland, good land, and they were such clever farmers and they raised the wheat and things that were used throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also has five or so nuclear uh, power stations that provide the electricity for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And Putin wants all of it, but, but maybe the major motivation for him, we're all trying to guess at this, is that he wants the old Soviet Union back. Yeah. He wants all 15 of those little republics to be back under his control. Mm. He, he grew up in the 50s and 60s and the 70s when it was the Soviet Union. Okay. It was the Soviet Union until 91, 1991, when okay. uh, Gorbachev uh, gave up on trying to maintain a presence and control in all these places. And he also, Gorbachev also realized it wasn't fair. Right. To subjugate all these people. So he gave them their independence. And um, Putin disagreed with that decision. He feels it was the greatest catastrophe in world history. Why do you think that? Why does he think that? Uh -huh. You know, a lot of people like, like Trump, they dream about the 50s here in America. The 50s were great. We want the 50s back. Yeah, they were great. Well, so that, that's the year. That's the year I was born. So I guess that, that was a good thing. That's that a was a good year. year. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> there were fewer people. We weren't aware of <clears throat> as many problems. We weren't aware of corruption. Right. We thought our government was handling things really well. We sat back and let them do it all. And uh, so, yeah, it was an idyllic time because we weren't right. aware of everything. Yeah, didn't know any better. Okay, okay. so um, he, 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 they were, you, I thank you so much for the history. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he said that they would be doing the fighting and flying beneath the aircraft. Yeah, so so do you think this is uh, justified in wanting this? And how do you think the United States can help or or should they help them? Wow. We, are, we are helping. We have yeah. given some uh, weaponry and some planes. Also, some of the Ukrainian uh, pilots trained here in the U.S. So well, that's they good. Know, huh? Yeah, they know. How, we, we do the big international things. There, there are a lot of countries that send pilots mm -hmm. and other military personnel here to be trained. And I yeah. think we probably have guys that go other places to get training. Yeah, yeah. You you mm -hmm. know, I met with uh, Henrak Akana Police Academy, and they were sharing how they go all over the world to do training with their mm -hmm. little private pilots, uh, little mm -hmm. private helicopters. They got little private helicopters. and we, yeah. But theirs is mostly to uh, combat uh, crime, you know. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, and self defense, yeah, yeah, I, and I guess this is really crime too. What's going on here? It is, it is indeed. And is. from from everything the news tells us, and I do trust this part of the news, is most people in Russia are being fed uh, the propaganda that Putin wants them to have, and that is, Putin is telling people that Ukraine is the aggressor, and that oh. he's actually going in with the army. The Russian army to save people, save the Russian-speaking Ukrainians, et cetera, et cetera, and that Ukraine is a bad guy. Mm. Well, and apparently the older Russians knows and, the difference. There's only, right? there's only one channel in Russia that's allowed. All, as of as of yesterday, the major news channels that we watch have been shut down in Russia. They're not allowed because they talk about the war. He doesn't want it called a war. He wants it called a military operation. He doesn't want any facts about it to go on. He doesn't want any of the vi videos to be shown. So all those places, CNN, B B 
BBC, all those have been closed down. They're mm -hmm. no longer allowed to operate from Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can keep bringing us news from the Ukraine. But mm. So he's, he's tightening, he's isolating Russia more and more. So the Russian mm -hmm. people are only seeing what they're fed, except the younger people with their cell phones mm -hmm. watched the Western news right. and knew what was going on, knew the facts. Mm -hmm. And it's these younger folks that are demonstrating and protesting throughout Russia Mm -hmm. against the war and many okay. what is it a thousand now have been arrested well three, i think it's about five thousand now, are detained. now and they don't have room they don't have room for all the protesters in jail and, you mean yeah yeah and yeah. and now it's, 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 our young people this younger generation in action right yes well, it's their world you know we're, we're about to leave they got to stay another 60 70 years yeah. and they wonder what <laughs> mess we're going to leave them you know and that's true in other words like, they're saying what well, what mama and daddy what are you leaving us what, mm -hmm. what, are, uh, SS, what are you leaving us mama and daddy yeah yeah they want a decent world so they're they're yeah. starting to build it themselves right now yep right right um <laughs> now getting back to russia they want to put like a, a stop this include it says stop among them is banning the Russian bank. The yeah, that's, bank that's from, what we want. That's Swift. what Ukraine mm -hmm. wants us to do, and we're doing it. Okay, yeah. closing the European uh, ports for Russian ships. Yes. We're doing that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. closing <laughs> access of Russia to uh, crypto currency. Crypto cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Was it crypto crypto yeah. currency? Yeah. And stop and purchase of Russian oil. Well, that's a tough one because that means our prices are going to go up. And a lot of people would rather have cheap oil than freedom. So that's going to be a tough one. Liz. Because right now the oil has really went up in just the last two days. If we got rid of Russian oil, mm -hmm. it, would, it would probably double the price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we'd also be without, without the scourge of Russia running things. Not that that's going to last forever. Putin mm -hmm. can't last forever because I believe he's losing it. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. you can cause a big scuffle. I don't know if you were, of course, if you watch the news, um, he actually took over at gunpoint five nuclear reactors on one big site. Mm -hmm. And according to the news resource I found, he actually planted mines all around it. So you can't get it back. And everybody who was there running it are Ukrainian, but they're all, all running it on, on gunpoint, under gunpoint. Mm -hmm. So I think he plans to be very devious because he seems to be on a suicide mission to bring back Russia. Okay. So because all they really do have, all they really have to do is get rid of him, right? Well, it's not quite that simple. Is uh -huh. there's, there's a bunch of crazy people that agree with him, and he happens to be the premier of Russia, or whatever they call it, president? Uh-huh. Yeah, president. Yeah. president. And he changed the Constitution so he can be president for the next 20 years. What? Yeah. Yes. Who else has Next talked about twenty kind of thing? years? You you think we could be? You think the world will be around that long? He's, not not he's, if he's still here. He's not going to last twenty years. This I'd be surprised if he lasts more than a couple more weeks. But while he's here, he intends to um, he intends to uh, have his way. In fact, I heard a quote from him the other day. Was that you? Told me that quote. Saying he he wouldn't want to live in a world without the USSR running like it was. Okay. USSR stands for United or Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Mm -hmm. That was the Soviet. That was the name when it was Soviet Russia, and that's what ended in 1991. He mm -hmm. wants that back. He wants the USSR back. Okay. It wasn't it was so corrupt by that time that it wasn't running very well. But you could say uh -huh. something about the U.S. We have we have a very divided country now. Half the people, less than half the people, slightly less than half the people in this country think that. Putin is a nice guy, and we should hang out yeah. with him. Yeah, Trump likes yeah. him. That's scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I'm gonna think. I'm thinking. Do you think this could drive a wedge between the Russian and the United States? Definitely. We ha there's a huge wedge there, but we do have, as Ron said, we do have some people in the United States who don't know the facts and who who like Putin a lot. That's mm -hmm. because they don't actually know 
But what Trump loves him too, right? right? Pardon? Pardon? Trump loves him too, right? Apparently right. so. That's yeah. what he claims. Yeah. So so if, if he was to run for president again, can, can't you imagine yes. what would happen? Well, send him to Moscow if you want to run for president. Yeah. Send him over to Moscow. <laughs> He'd probably be bigger. He, he likes to give a lot of orders. He doesn't want to have any responsibility. It's a perfect combination. That's what's Putin's for a dictator. Right for a yeah. dictator. Mm -hmm. No responsibility. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of authority. All right. Let's let us let us talk about let's talk about the Second Baptist Church. Oh yes. Well, it's funny. And we mentioned. want and we want to we want to see how what's going on in uh, Ukraine is simply or different from what is going on here, mm -hmm. right here in the city of Richmond, right. on the Second Baptist Church. Yep. Well, oh, I happen God. to have a picture of it right here. All right. All right. So, All right. I yeah. understand that. You was on the news last night, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, don't get out of the house much. What we do? We try to pick important <laughs> venues. <laughs> of that, we went to the Ukrainian thing. Uh, for Ukraine, and we happened to be flapping our gums there, and they they put us on there. Well, actually, Sandy, I, that, I got some launch. Channel six. Channel six. Channel six. Coming at the vigil for Ukraine. That was in on Thursday night at Monroe yeah. Park. Uh -huh. Last night, Friday night, was at the Second Baptist on Franklin Street, mm -hmm. downtown. Yes. When you see in the picture. And Ron and our friend Daniela. And Richard Bland. Got, and Richard Bland. They got on the they got on the TV there, Channel 8. I didn't get my best so, feel, though. So, so, so I, I understand that they are, they are calling for a boycott to save the church, right? Yes. Well, they're, that's what they're, they're, they're saying. Now, I don't know if that's the most effective way to do it. According to what Sandy's research has shown, the city isn't particularly in favor of this, but apparently um, the owner of the uh, Jefferson of the building and of the Jefferson yeah. tried to do an end run around the, the normal process. 30 years ago, he applied for a permit. It was denied by the Good. Committee of Architectural Review, but... Good. 30 years later, he called a lawyer over there, and of course he has a lot of money, pays a lot of taxes, has a lot of sway, uh, and so the lawyer said, hey, we can use your old permit because it was never canceled. Uh, and the wow. lawyer, who also apparently is a little on the friendly side, said, okay, that looks fine to me, but it had to go back to city council because there's such a row. When he brought up, he wanted to turn that church into a parking lot because it wasn't repairable. Looks pretty good to me. Wasn't it's repairable. Good to me too. In and fact, it can, it can create some jobs that the governor wants. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, that's if, right. The governor wants exactly. jobs. The, gov here. the governor wants over four hundred thousand jobs. That's right. I'm and they sure should get a sure. lot of jobs in renovating that facility and have right. different departments right. in it. All right. Those are skills, and mm -hmm. they shouldn't all be with Amazon Warehouse. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And you and you know I I have. I have actually sent in a request to meet with the governor. So I want y'all to keep that up in prayer. And I am going to bring this before him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So so tell me, I know why I want to save this church. So you tell me why you want to save this church. Sandy, we'll go you first. You go okay. first, Sandy. All right. All right, here why I you, go. Why do why you think we should save the Second Baptist Church? Okay, to me... There are many ways you can build a building. Mm -hmm. You can set up a budget and decide we're going to stay in this budget. What's the cheapest kind of plan we can do? What's the cheapest architect? What's the cheapest materials? Cheapest guys we can hire? You can mm -hmm. put up a building that way. And we have many that look like they were put up that way. Mm -hmm. No caring, no beauty, no aesthetics, no real workmanship. Just mm -hmm. kind of slap it up there, staple it up there, and we're done. But on the other hand, in the past, there was a, a way to build buildings. We see it. We've got several beautiful buildings in this town and across around the world. There are beautiful buildings. People mm -hmm. pay a lot of money to go to Europe and see the ancient buildings and towers and bridges and arches there. And here we have a lovely building. Every bit of it. Yes. From the quality of the architecture, the planning of it, 
And then the quality of the workmen that were yes. hired. Yes. And then the masons, the masons with all of their skills, to, yes. as Ron said, putting up those pillars so that they stand. Yes. More than a hundred years later. And look cool. And look terrific. Yeah, they, look awesome. These huge pillars. I mean, it's like a big temple. It so is. And, it, and it's right there on Franklin Street, right there in the Where city. Where the monument belongs. The mo yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that could it, be a yeah. monument. It is yeah. a monument. Yes, it is a beautiful monument for the city of Richmond. For the standard. And, and, we, and, we, and we're going to fight to keep it, right? Yes. We're going to fight this to keep it. And this was built. To keep this. This is, what, this is what we need to keep, not what we need to tear down. That's right. Right. This okay. building was built before there were computers to do CAD drawings to mm. plan it, before power tools, before cranes. Before forklifts, handcrafted. Before big trucks could haul big stuff, this was handmade. Things brought by horse and wagon. Yeah, I mean this. There was love and quality and real workmanship that went into this building. So that should not be erased. That should not be erased, and that's what we're going to take to the governor. Y'all be in prayer that I get this meeting with the governor, okay? With Gov Governor Youngkins. I've already right. talked. I've already already talked to my congressman, um, Whitman, mm -hmm. and he has said that he was going to see if I getting a uh, an appointment set up with me to meet with him because I want to create use this as to create the jobs. That of course he want the four hundred thousand jobs, but we want mm -hmm. to use it as a way to training for those ones who are mm -hmm. in prison. So you mm -hmm. see, when they come out of prison, they will actually have something there, you know, for them to, to work. They can they can get the training whilst they're in prison. It can be zoom in, and um, and it would create it say it will it will create at least a percentage of those four hundred thousand jobs. That's it, right. It, and not only that, it would be an education for education, art, yes. and history. Yes. And the rehabilitation of lives and yes. economic growth. How can you lose with all of that? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I, I recently learned that in Alexandria, they refurbished some old buildings to use uh -huh. for the schools. They did not consider tearing down those old buildings. They no. refurbished them so they are in use now by the school system in Alexandria. Yes. And that's what and that's what we can do. Be that's because right. what we what we can do is I, I looked up some research because I, I, I for some reason I love construction. I, you Ooh. know I have that construction site right there in the house, right? Yep, yep. You so, do. so they can come and live there and mm -hmm. And Zoom, look, have somebody that live there, Zoom, teach them architect, uh, construction, oh, yeah. all of the trades right yeah. there. Liz's Construction Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? But you know, a little bit of a little bit of history. I mean, the cost of it, you know, I had to go and check on the cost now. The building cost is 250 per square foot to re rehab. Mm -hmm. that, that, that building, right? That's yeah. based on the city tax records. And that would result um, in a cost of about $4 million. Mm -hmm. And a tax cool. credit rehabilitation could offset like 45% of it, which would be like $1.8 And that's mm -hmm. qualified rehabilitation expenses. Hmm. Uh, so see, it's like you pay, pay some getting just half of it. Wow. You, you see? I oh. mean, that would be giving people jobs. Mm -hmm. And it would sure. uh, re revitalize the city. And the building, the refurbished building could be used as an art center, a school, a school for architects. All of that can go right into mm -hmm. that building. It can mm -hmm. have the different departments. Mm-hmm. You know, and since it's history, we can even teach history in there. You yes. know what? We could even have it as a part of, the, um, as you would say, said the rehabilitation. In other words, while people are being rehabilitated, 
they are rehabilitating yes. buildings themselves and the buildings. And they, yes. yes, themselves and the buildings. It go, it go, and we, 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 and say rebuilding Virginia on a good yeah. note. That's right. From people on up, right? It could yes. be kind of like the, it could be kind of like the other major museums in Richmond, except it would be monuments for the creative side of the world, not the destructive side, the aspirational monuments, mm -hmm. not the destruction monuments mm -hmm. and the lost cause monuments, but the ones to, to people who actually kept society civil during those terrible years when the South had decided yes. it shouldn't be. And long after the Civil War kept that dream alive of, mm -hmm. um, well, whatever it was, that, of suppressing people to give the other people advantage. It was kind of a, don't, don't quote me, and this is kind of, it's as if CRT actually existed. There actually mm -hmm. was a system to suppress people. It's almost like that was true because mm -hmm. it did work pretty efficiently as if it were a system. However, I know the governor would be very upset if I allude to CRT existing anywhere, wow. but it's almost as if there were a system to hold people down. And that, that uh, idea that a very wealthy man can say, I'm gonna turn history into a parking lot tells us that we have that we're way out of balance and that's why we have the car is the committee on architectural review they exist to keep crazy people from turning their temples into parking lots yes oh you know you know ron i have to share this with you mm. you know when the shire family bought the old mm. Carl Hammers building? Yes. Their goal was to turn it into a parking lot. No. Yes, it wow. was. Yes, it was. But I contact them. I contact them and I told them what I want to do with that building. Mm -hmm. And when I told them what I want to do with the building, at that time, uh, Shia said, well, you know, my dad has said that we want to change the way at images. So your idea is very good, Liz. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? Well, hopefully the gentleman who owns that church will decide the same thing. Yes. Because for Richmond to have a new set of monuments that actually talk about the aspirational side of humanity. Yes. We've been yes. screwing things up long enough. Let's do something useful. Yes. You know, but 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 uh, but you know, Ron, what was so nice and, and saying that what was so nice is when the governor, and his name was uh, the former governor, George Allen, when mm -hmm. he created, he created what you call the welfare to work program. Remember that, baby. Yeah. Remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. At that particular time, the young people that I was working with was no more than 12 years old. Wow. 12, 14, 15. Those young people now have master degrees. Yeah. They have doctor degrees, so they yeah. can go in and actually help teach the young people who are in prison to come out and help rebuild their community instead of tearing it down. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's right. what, yeah, good, good analogy. Yeah. The the governor talks about the spirit of Virginia. Yes. Well, let's say the spirit of Virginia is to rebuild things. To yes. rehabilitate them, to reuse yes. them, yes, to set the spirit free. Yes, and, and you know, it, and uh, I actually worked with one of the lawyers on one of the bills, and I introduced a bill to you last week. That bill uh, is HB one one ninety seven, and as well, they actually the what they want to do is to rehabilitate the young people. Through the, at the juvenile detention center and still continue to punish them. Instead so, of punishing them, right, good. Yes, that's what they're doing, punish them. So what we have did is sent that bill through the house and it went six to one, yes. Hmm. Good. We then, we then sent it to the senator and it went through that. Guess what? Double, fourteen to one. No okay. kidding. Yes, 
Now it is headed to the Senator floor and on to the governor's desk to be signed into law. Wow, that's exciting. So, so, so you see how that will work, work hand in hand with that building? Yeah, the way it work hand in hand, yes. yes. So, so that's what we. So that's 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 my goal. I need y'all to be in prayer with me that we can be able to get that going. And anybody that is listening, <laughs> if mm -hmm. you think this, if you think this is a great and wonderful idea to help rebuild Virginia, mm -hmm. call in and say yes. I want to help. I want to be a part of it. And we are. We'll right now. I have contacted two construction companies. Oh. That's right. I have uh -huh. We're ready to roll. We're we ready to roll. We're we yeah. ready to roll. Two construction come and one the construction come. I share it with. In fact, both the construction company they love that idea. I don't want yeah. to put that name out there on blast yet <clears throat> until we, you know, get it all in, yeah. all, all going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know, Liz, you're in the construction business. We're yes. Talk about reconstructing buildings. Uh huh. Rebuilding instead of tearing them down, uh -huh. refurbish them, uh -huh. um, put in uh, some of the modern things that will help strengthen it and make it safe. Mm -hmm. We're doing that with people too. You're yep. doing that with yes. people. Renovating souls. Instead of saying yes. give up on this one, they should be a parking lot. We'll say no. Keep this yeah. lovely thing. Make mm -hmm. it into the temple it was meant to be. Yes. So and, and, and we know it can be done because we got statistics showing that it can be done. Yes. Yeah. This is not something that is impossible. That's right. It's not impossible. It's very possible. Uh -huh. Doable. It's, it's a doable miracle. It is. Okay. Hope it's still a miracle then if it's a doable miracle. <laughs> it's a, yes, it is. It's a doable miracle. Yes. <laughs> and you know I believe in miracles, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> we all do this. We all do because if it weren't for miracles, we wouldn't have a chance. If we had to do a really common denominator that comes out of everybody's mouth, we would never get a daggone thing done. Once in a while, an aspirational person points the way, and we get inspired to do something great. When the people get us riled up and annoyed, we don't do great things. No. We don't no. do great things. So, no. so at least you were asking a while ago, how does this Second Baptist Church, how does rebuilding youth, getting them off the prison pipeline and back into yes life talk about that yeah. and how does that link up with the ukraine well to me they all they all are part of this metaphor uh -huh. when there is something beautiful let's say a yes. butterfly let's say a cardinal let's say something gorgeous a beautiful tree yeah they can all be killed yes someone can come along and just destroy them yeah. Step on them, squash them. Uh -huh. But they can also be saved. They can be yes. restored. They can be protected. Mm -hmm. Problems can be prevented so that they can prevail. And to me, as much as Putin tries to destroy everything that is Ukraine, they can prevail with our help, the help of a lot of others. They, mm -hmm. can, they can survive this. And they can come back better than ever. They can, with help from their neighbors, and that includes us, mm -hmm. they can be allowed to live in their free country, mm -hmm. hopefully rebuild their beautiful buildings and universities yes. and cathedrals that have been bombed. Uh, and uh, so all these things can be rebuilt. Uh, those who are out destroying beauty and destroying things that are worthwhile can be uh, stopped in their tracks. They can be. And the and the rest of us who believe in beauty and truth and goodness can be helping out more. Get in there and help. Get in more involved. Yeah. That's why we're wearing these colors. These aren't fashion statements, folks. My little boutonniere <laughs> here isn't really a fashion statement. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Oh, like blue and yellow. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. The, this is Ukraine. The flags of the U of the Ukraine. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's about everybody being aware of it and making it, making it important. Uh, mm -hmm. The colors of the sky and the sun. That's it. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's all part of our covering, of protection. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes. 
So, so Ron, I, I believe you are one of the historians about the Second Baptist Church. Well, I'm I'm read a yeah, smattering yeah. about it. Well, I'm I'm just saying about that. Well, the, the thing about uh, I'm a Yankee, so when I came here, I want to understand because I followed the South and news reports. None of it made any sense to me because why would people be so nasty to each other all the time, incorrigibly so? It just never made sense. So when I got here, I met all these neat people in Richmond. Most of them very neat people. You know, I've been here for about mm -hmm. 30 years. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, of all the people I met in Richmond, 99% uh, of them are, are just really, really nice folk. Folks mm -hmm. you'd like to hang out with and chat with mm -hmm. because they care about the world. And that's what makes the world work. Very small percentage of them um, seem to have other ideas. And they're, they're out there. But this whole idea of, uh, as Sandy was alluding to, if you have humans who are basically they're more likely to get riled up and motivated to do something if they're mm -hmm. scared or annoyed than if they're inspired. You take that combination. It takes a special person to find the things to get them excited in a positive way. Like Jesus. Jesus didn't say, let's go, let's go kill all the Romans. No, he, he said, he said, turn the other cheek. In other words, don't rile these bastards because they really get upset. They'll make a mess for us, which they eventually did, right? Mm -hmm. A couple of years later, they tore down the entire temple. But mm -hmm. Jesus said, hey, we got our own doings here. We're going to have a great life because this is a great place. Mm -hmm. Of course, Rome, Rome had other ideas. And obviously, there's a thousand histories about how Rome rose and fell. But the idea that you can cooperate get together and get things done that you all like. That's what makes the world work. That's why we have civilization. It's civil. People who don't practice civility in a civilization are either criminal or insane. Right. Okay, now the history of the Baptist or Church. Impolite. I'm sorry, go ahead. The history of the Baptist Church. But getting on, yes, getting on the history of the Baptist Church, yes. Well, the Baptist Church, uh, the first Baptist Church came about early 1800s and not 19 1800s and at that time mm -hmm. tobacco was king and as tobacco kind of fell because it kind of taxes the soil and they started doing more cotton and the cotton was further south i can't say exactly why these things were the case but what i've read up on cotton was was popular in the south at the beginning of the of the 1800s slavery was beginning to wane people didn't really it wasn't efficient it abused the, both the slave and the slave holder and mm. it was sort of on the wane, but as cotton became a bigger thing and as raising cotton became more brutal because they wanted to do more and more with less and less, slavery began to pick up. And in 1824, when the Second Baptist Church decided they, the First Baptist Church wasn't doing enough education, mm -hmm. they wanted to be doing for education, for proselytizing, for evangelizing, both locally and they, they sent missions to Africa way back in those days. But they wanted the world to know about what was what was good. So when they came off the first Baptist and started the second Baptist, the congregations were actually mixed. They were mm -hmm. separated, but they were mixed. Mm -hmm. And shortly after that, this, uh, they, they found that blacks wanted a more ebullient services. So they let the blacks start their own churches where they had a lot more music. Mm -hmm. And dance and whatnot. Well, you know, well, you know how we blacks are about the music and the dance. <laughs> yeah, jazz, yeah, jazz. Anybody who's ever enjoyed a hip hop video knows that dance can be a joyous thing, and it can. Someday I played. Sandy's going to teach me hip hop, right, Sandy? Right. <laughs> I went to watch it, Liz. I could never keep up, but I, I think if I could keep up, I'd be youthful forever or dead soon. One the other. It's either very taxing or very anyway. So my, well, my my son Travis, he he actually got a master's degree in the hip hop. No kidding. Yes, but, he did. He yes, he did. Bring him on. Yeah, do yeah. Class. <laughs> yeah I, I was gonna talk a little bit about him because he's one of the products from the not tearing down. Oh the, yes, yes. The tall, the tall hammers yeah. building. You know what I'm saying? Him oh, and, and about 25 other young people who who actually had we had our first program there. Wow. At, at, at the old tall Hammers building. Mm -hmm. And it was because of the Shires who had said that they was going to tear it down for a parking lot. Yeah. And they decided after they heard, after I gave them a proposal, they actually worked with the governor and said, 
No, we don't want to tear it down. We want to use it for what Liz wants to use it for. Well, I wish I'd known you then, Liz. Huh? I wish I'd known you then because Richard and Daniela and I were out on street corners fighting for Miller and Rhodes and for Grace Street. They wanted uh -huh. to tear down all the buildings on Grace Street. They wanted to tear down that beautiful edifice. Um, what is the name of that building, Sandy? The, the big hotel down there in downtown proper. Uh, anyway, the developers always have a funny way of looking at the world. If they didn't make a lot of money on this job, then tear it down. Let's get a contract with somebody else to build something. Whereas history is made up of the things that last. So uh -huh. if a building is, is that well conceived, hey, like City Hall, the old City Hall, highly inefficient, but beautiful and a statement made to last through mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Some things just last. They haven't torn down the Parthenon to put a parking lot up. You know, they didn't mm -hmm. tear down the Coliseum to put a parking lot up. How right. come? Not right. Right. What's wrong with those guys? And, 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 and what, what is the, exactly, what is the, what is the Coliseum doing there? Oh, gosh. Yeah. A bunch of tourists wander around and spend money. That's all. A bunch of tourists. Want, oh, you mean the Coliseum in town? Well, that's yeah. another, that's another. Oh, don't get me started of that can of worms. <laughs> it's another whole can of worms. Yeah. Some things should be torn down, but some things should be revived. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's true. I think if but they, you, if they you, but we, you know, we would love to hear hear somebody call in and, and just share what they think about you know tearing down the building. You know. Well, if they if they called in, Liz, I will put them on. I will put okay. them on. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to send you a picture of. I think I'm going to send you a picture of. There it so, is. So this Ron, is City Hall, uh, with um, its uh, Ukrainian colors on. Oh, that's beautiful. And lovely. It we took that a couple of nights ago, Thursday, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. Yellow and blue, the colors in the Ukrainian flag. This is looking from the median on the center of the street, looking mm -hmm. north. So so the um so City Hall is working working with uh everyone in reference to not tearing the building down. Well, they're part of it. Well, well, I brought this picture up because there. I wanted to show you that that uh, uh Mayor Stoney was very uh -huh. interested in letting everybody know, and around the world, the people that are doing this, that we stand with Ukraine. Okay. If you can That's charge awesome. more for gas, but you're going to stop murdering people in Ukraine. Uh -huh. You know, if you're going to if you're going to come down on these cronies that we've known about for years, and not let them come over here and buy property and and uh, use it as a tax haven, hey, this is all part of revamping society. To me. Uh huh. It's. I don't want to draw too close a parallel to the second because to me, Second Baptist should be Monument Zero on Monument Boulevard. You got the Capitol at one end, full of monuments. They don't plan to tear any of them down. You got Second Baptist Church, and way out there the other end, you got a tennis star. In between, you got Ross room for people like Liz Charity. <laughs> or the heroes, the heroes of today. That's right. Yeah. Today's heroes. Yeah. The people oh, who do things. That are noteworthy. People who dedicate their lives to make things happen so we can have a better world as opposed to the one where people want to tear down. And I tell you, I'm really over. Let's tear everything down and start over again because I know that really hurts. Look at Ukraine. This is what it looks like mm -hmm. to turn the place over to people who have nothing better to do but destroy. And you know what? The, who's going to rebuild it? Uh, it's going to cost huge amounts. It's going to take a lot more to years. rebuild it than it. Did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll be living in tents for years. Yeah, they'll oh, be living in tents God. for years. And that's if they don't blow up the nuclear reactors. Lord knows, we. you know what happens with Chernobyl? One single reactor without a containment vessel, which blew up and it contaminated, I don't know how many thousand acres, but the entire world sort of had a boost of radiation at that time. And that's the kind of thing that happens when people don't care, and the the problem with the, the uh, USSR, the corruption was so rife that the containment vessel, which should have been put there, or was never put there. Mm -hmm. and other safety measures which should have been there weren't there. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what, what, that's why Ukraine recently had a, a big revolt when Russia's puppet was thrown out, which is what's annoyed Putin. That's why he wants to put his Russian puppet back in. When that all happened, that was, that was facilitated, and Putin depends on corruption. That's why he came over here and spent so much money in the election. That's why he finds people in the U.S. who think he is, he's cool because he's powerful. They think mm. power is cool, and that's all you need to know. And this is this is uh, not the formula 
for human progress. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, Liz, it is, it is seven minutes before the hour. We all have to stop talking. Can you imagine that? I had more stuff to go Station on. Station ID. You had some more stuff. Well, let, let, let's let's say that what what is being done by the by the city and the well, community is to, to actually to stop to stop that uh, tent to demolish that building. Is anything being done? Oh, there's there's yes. you know, Sandy will take over here. Okay, Sandy. there have been a couple of rallies. We attended the rally last night. Okay, these are on Friday Sally, night. Is it uh, Sandy, is there any way you could get me in contact with the main person? Yes. Yes. Uh, her name is Jen Dots. She's okay. an, uh, a realtor, and she's okay. also an art historian. She knows a lot about really the building and and she's send me, send me that information. We, we we look we, we, we I'm going to get in contact with her. Okay, I. Um, you already sent it to me. I think I did. Okay. Okay. We're gonna use that. We we can get some action going on. It don't take look. It right. don't take a whole lot of people. It just take a few faithful ones who know yep. what they're doing. Yep, that's right. Now Jen Dots is the woman who organized this, and she's there. Uh, there'll be a, a rally apparently every Friday. Really? Here's what it was like yesterday. We met okay. on uh, near Franklin Street near the mm -hmm. Second Baptist Church. There were mm -hmm. posters uh, that many carried that said, save the Second Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And some said boycott the Jefferson Hotel because the owner of the property, the Second Baptist Church, is also the owner of the Jefferson Hotel. Okay. So uh, there were maybe, it uh, seemed like 80 or 100 of us last night, mm -hmm. some with signs. It was a cowbell. We yes, marched up and down the block and um, hollered now and then people came past and honked and joined in and uh, it's a very peaceful we had a lot of support. it was yeah. entirely peaceful we did have a dog fight <laughs> <laughs> two people had brought dogs and the dogs their leashes their leashes got tangled together and their owners got tripped up and it was but everybody recovered more or less. Well, and, not a friend um, of ours over, but he's yeah, still recovering. A friend of ours, Richard Bland, was one uh -huh. of the ones that hit the ground. Um and he's kind of sore today, but and that we're very regretful about that. Okay. But uh, that was the only violence that we saw. Okay. So uh, didn't have to have to call the police or anything, huh? Right. No. Right. in fact well, I didn't even see it. we were <laughs> We were trusted, apparently. There were no horse, you know, policemen on horses oh, yeah. no or anything. At all. One time, uh, years ago, a bunch of old folks like me, we were <laughs> we were demonstrating about something. There were maybe thirty of us, and what what did the city do? This this was for I think I think water for other for places, clear water for other places in Virginia. And uh -huh. uh, what did the city do? They, they sent. 12 police on horseback <laughs> <laughs> just around the 30 of us older folks milling around in this little park anyway we behaved ourselves i'll tell you uh, <laughs> they didn't do that last night last night they trusted us well, they didn't know about it no I, it was we they had permission know. we had we had a permit for this gathering yeah. <laughs> well, we also had a, a gentleman playing the accordion. He played music for us. Yes, you lady mummy oh. was there. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And we had some dancing. Yeah, it was and, and it was lasted about two hours. And mm -hmm. then um, people adjourned for the evening. And I think they're gonna do this every Friday. Okay, I want to be I want to be in the next I want to be a you, part you, of this. You'll be yeah. Oh, also there were two or three on uh, News stations there, CBS and NBC. Oh, and All right. Yes. So that would be awesome. All right. You have been listening to Building a Better Societies. And we would like very much for you to become a part of it. Uh, that is Building a Better Society. Give me a call and find out how you can be able to help us build a better society and at the same time change our community for
for the better. Yes. Yep. That's yeah. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what we do here at WRWK, LPFM, Middle Lothian, Virginia. And we're glad you joined us. If you did, if you didn't, you missed out. Because we, we talk about real things that go on in Richmond, how to make a better world. It's not clickbait. It's not titillating. It's just what, what goes down that you can be a part of to make the world work. Because most of us here want it to work. And, and yeah. even though the three of us were able to talk a lot, we would have had we would have stopped talking for a phone call. That's right. If you yeah. help, then yeah. we'll make time for you. You could have stopped us, folks. Yeah, yeah you could have stopped. <laughs> Yes, you could have stopped. But you know, it was such a good flow. I guess they said we don't want to interrupt the good flow. They had such, such a good going on there. We would listen. I like the way yeah. you it sounds positive. Yeah. It sounds positive. Yeah. I'll go yeah. for it. Keep the flow going. Right. Yes, keep the flow going. And um uh, and we well, and we're gonna see we we're gonna see changes. We're gonna yep. see changes. I, I'm gonna get back with my Shire friend, uh, yes. Alice Shire. I in fact, I I called and I told him. I said, "Do you realize that uh, thirty some years ago, you you didn't pull down your, you didn't pull down and it made it into a parking lot, and yeah. we got we got students who have graduated." Because because of the of the grant, you know. In fact, yeah. that's what I want to say. We had about twenty. We, it, it was able to help twenty five students to go to college, to get a degree, and say. And not only that, what you say, help renovate that building. That that sixty nine thousand dollars went a long, long ways, and it's still going. <laughs> yeah. Be because they didn't tear it down, they yep. because that's right. They that's right. They strengthened it. They rebuilt it. They maintained. Mm -hmm. it. Look, and nobody, and we did not get on welfare. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, found we didn't get on welfare. welfare. My, um, uh, what's it, Travis Hurst, he's he's a doctor now. He's, um, he he has the doctor degree and two master degrees. Well. My, son, my other son, he has a master degree, an associate degree. And uh, a bachelor degree, and they have went to some of the best colleges. They would they, mm -hmm. they would not have mm -hmm. been able to if it was not for that grant, because we probably would be on welfare. If it had not been mm -hmm. for that grant, they could not went to William and Murray University. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They could not went to George Mason. So mm -hmm. it's a whole lot. Yeah, one person can make a big difference, and several people yes. make a bigger difference. Possibilities yes. are there. Yeah. Yes, and we had 25, as I said, 25 other students to go to school yeah. to get a degree or either uh, got an apprenticeship. I, I, yeah. I, we, we, we had a, we had a, 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 as she would say, a, like an 85% success report. Now, yeah. now Liz, was that a miracle or was that a doable? Say that again. Both of them. <laughs> it was it was both. It was that was both. <laughs> That's a Liz miracle. Yes. That was a miracle and That's doable. A Liz miracle. <laughs> uh, that was a little seed that was planted long time ago. And now it's getting ready to sprite up real big. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's a great yeah. note to end on. I hate to end, but that's a great note to end on because yes. uh, there's plenty more to come from and, and watch the events section of the, the Work Event Facebook page and you'll see what Liz is going to do next week if we have a more comprehensive statement on Second Baptist or, yes. or whatever it happens to be yeah. going down the pike. What Hopefully, we're gonna, gonna, what we're going to do. Yes. I'll tell you. And you can help too. What we're going to yes. do is you can help too. That's right. And between now and next week, I'm praying that Ukraine, with our assistance, yes. uh, we'll keep comes, them up resolves somewhat, and uh, they can go on having a better life. And right. the people, the mess makers of the world, will retire to their corner mm -hmm. and uh, just poop on themselves for a while, and leave us alone. Or, or, or God perform another miracle. Come on now. Yeah, no, I'm all for them. miracles. Mm -hmm. I'm all for miracles. Yes. All, anyway, so, so well, strengthen the good. Strengthen the good. Yes. Why do you ignore yes. the bad if you can? It's tough. They look like they need so much. Hey, when the three of us get together, we make magic. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. That's true. Yes. <laughs> all right. For the magic, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn us back over to our magical loop. 
Okay. And you'll Wait. like it a lot. Later, Bye. Liz. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. So okay. wave goodbye. Bye. Ron, Liz, Sandy. See you next week. Probably. All right. <laughs>